Hello, Sagittarius, fellow fire sign. I am coming at you with your July, July, whoa, September 2020. Love reading. Um, time is fluid, so whenever you see this is when you're meant to. It's really just labeled to keep track. So um, it's, it is a general reading. It's not going to resonate for everybody. Um, take what resonates and leave the rest. If this isn't your story, guys, check your other placements. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, and if you don't know your placements, go to... Um, I think it's Cafe Astrology or Astrology Cafe, whatever. You can get a free birth chart there. Um, there's no gender in tarot, so don't get hung up on he, she, male, female, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, also, Cross Watchers, welcome. I think that's it. Um, I would love it if you would like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've got a lot of things planned. So, um, you know, if you like my readings, if you like um, my energy, if I vibe with you, um, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. Um, also hit that bell for notifications so we notified when I upload new content or go live. I ultimately want to go live from this page. I do some lives from my Facebook page, page my Queen of Wands Tarot Facebook page, um, where I do some live streams and do free card pulls. So if you're interested in that, hop over there. Um, the link should be in the description box below. All right, let's do this. I've got three separate piles. I went ahead and drew some Oracle cards. Um, a total of nine, one, a stack for you, a stack for your person and a stack for the mutual energy between the two of you. All right. It takes about 10 minutes. So I do that off camera. So your first message, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. Surrender to the divine right behind it. Yep and nurture empress energy there okay so you've got some control issues fire sign sagittarius right i'm a leo i get it happens so basically um they're saying kind of let us let us take the reins okay let go of control put in the effort and you're, you'll see some return nurture yourself nurture this person nurture the relationship you'll see a return let's check your persons so finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So they may be going through some hard times financially. Um, a win-win outcome is forecast though. So look at that. They'll be coming out of it soon, right? And embrace. That's beautiful. So um, I feel like, I think that's, that's the world card in the regular tarot, right? So I feel like this cycle of, of, you know, kind of, I don't want to say poverty because that sounds pretty harsh, but the cycle of lack that they're going through is coming to an end. Okay. So the, uh, the energy in between you two is it is safe for you to love again, open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. I love that. Um, your commitment is being tested and healing begins, right? So I feel like, um, this connection is, is pretty strong. Um, Let's hop in though and see what happens. I've got, I'm going to clarify each, each energy set with a separate tarot deck. So let's jump right in for you guys. Nurture, surrender to the divine and make the effort. Again, Empress energy and that surrender to the divine is really just kind of about letting go and letting God or whatever you subscribe to. Okay. Whatever your higher power is. But I do feel like there's a big pull between you two. So um, with this, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. This is the time to let, you know, let the universe steer, right? Um, all right. So let's see what we get here. Six of wands, bottom of the deck. Not bad. All right. Let's see what we got. King of wands. There you are. Death. Nobody's dying. Six of Swords, Page of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Wow, we got a divinely guided pair on the board there, power couple, with that Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So Aries Leo Sag energy right here. You could be dealing with a fellow fire sign, okay? So with this King of Wands, okay, let's move these over. I, I like you guys to be able to see them. It just takes so much room for this, this spread. Okay. So we've got this, this King of Wands here, right? So I feel like you're really in your power right now. You are um, feeling fierce, right? Dial it back a little bit and surrender some of that control. I am a Leo. That is hard for me to do. I get um, when we are in our power, we're very headstrong. We're very, 
we're very um, fierce, we're very, you know, we're warriors, we go after what we want, right? Um, you're going to get what you want, but you've got to surrender a little bit of control, right? We don't get to drive the wagon all the time. It's just the way it is. So as you surrender a little bit, you're going to see some of the, the old expended energy cleared out to make room for something new to come in, right? Um, and I feel like this is a transition you've been working on for a while. Um, the Six of Swords is, is about a journey, a transition, going from these choppy waters to calmer waters. Um, but I feel like you've been working on this for a while, right? It's It's been, I don't want to say a slow go because I feel like it's gone in the right amount of time. Um, but you are ready to speed it up a little bit. You are looking, looking, looking around. Where's my person? What's going on? Um, if you already know them, you could be kind of spying on them, you know, checking out their social media. We all do it. It happens, right? We're, we're curious by nature, right? So, you know, I think you're ready. I think you feel like you're ready. You're ready. And I feel like you also think it's taking too long. Okay. But the universe is really building a very solid foundation for this relationship. Okay. Keeping you, um, kind of tempered in a way because, you know, fire signs, guys, we are very just go get them. Right. So, um, and here you are, you're kind of sandwiched between your energy, right? You've got all of this stuff going on sandwiched in between your energy of, of, you know, fighting for things. And that's great because you want to, you know, you want to have an equal balance of that. But, you know, the universe is saying, you know, be nurturing, be kind, slow down just a little bit, surrender, surrender to us. Okay. And good things are going to come for you. Make, make this effort and great things are going to come to you. Okay. So that is what we have on your side of the table, guys. Keep in mind that this could be flip-flop, this could be your person, that could be you, take it as it resonates. You know the drill. All right, so your person has Embrace, um, which is like the world card. Um, a win-win outcome is forecast and finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So this person may be going through a time of lack, you know, where they are struggling with their money. Um, this full moon in Libra is kind of like the justice card. They may very well be going through some kind of, of legal battle, possible divorce, you know, just really duking it out, right? Working hard for their money, that kind of thing. But this is coming to a close. Okay. The end is near. Um, things are really going to balance out for them. It's, it's, you know, things are happening the way they should, when they should for them. Um, so let's, uh, let's check up and see what we got. Okay. Oh, yeah. They may be feeling some loss right now, but they still have two cups, right? So, um, it could just be emotional, but I do think, you know, the money is a factor, you know, they're really, they're feeling, you know, kind of like, you know, I wish I had all that money back I spent on whatever, or I wish, you know, if this is a divorce, they're, they're, it's hitting them hard, right? You know, it's really, it's, it's difficult for them, not just financially, but emotionally. I mean, it is, it's an up and down ride, right? Okay. Ace of Pentacles, that's beautiful energy. All right. So let's see what's up. Seven of Pentacles again. Um, you guys are, are real go-getters and I think they're a little slower. Okay. Oh, well, maybe not. King of Wands. Um, wow. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't shouldn't speak before I... We'll see what happens. Ace of Swords. Nine of Swords. Gemini Nation. Could be a Gemini. Doesn't have to be. And the Devil. Okay. So they're dealing with some kind of karmic cycle right now. Something that is... That's taken a long time. Um, and I think they are... Here's what I think. I think they are being patient. I think that they're at the end of their rope and they're ready to be like, you know what? I'm done with this shit. I've said what I needed to say. I've done what I've needed to do. And I am tired of waiting. I need this situation over and it's going to be over soon. Okay. Um, the truth is going to come out. The truth will be illuminated, spoken, heard. Okay. Um, no longer will they have to stress out about it. Okay. No longer will they have to feel like this about it because they've been feeling like this for a while with this, this, this person relationship energy situation. Okay. They've really, really gone through it. Okay. And when I say that, I mean, really, I mean, we've got the devil right next to the nine of swords guys. They, they've really been put through the ringer. Um, they're probably feeling real skittish. Okay. They've had to fight for a long time for whatever is going on, uh, for themselves, but it's, 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 it's wrapping up. Okay. And they're going to get this brand new beginning. And right underneath that is this 10 of swords and the fool. Okay. So 
So sandwiched in between this brand new beginning is this ending of this cycle. It's coming. It's coming quick, but it's been super painful for them. Okay. It's been, it's been a lot for them to deal with. Okay. So, um, when they come out of this, they might be a little, little shell shocked, right? Okay. So let's check out the mutual energy that we have between the two of you. Um, you guys have healing begins, right? And you have your commitment is being tested. You also have, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So I feel like, um, Everything that you guys have gone through, um, I just, it's, I don't think that this speaks of your commitment to one another, but I think that this, this speaks of your commitment to putting yourself first, um, trying to, you know, kind of develop and, and ascend and elevate your, your energy yourself. Okay. And you do that, that happens for you as this healing starts, right? So you guys are both kind of coming out of some shit. Okay. Um, and this, this six, Healing begins is very is the same thing as the six of swords in the regular tarot. Very similar energy. Okay, as you as you have some time, as you have as things calm down and you have some time to reflect and think, you start healing. Please remember that forgiveness is a two way street. So whatever you've gone through, um, forgive yourself and others. Okay, that's going to help clear it out of your energy much quicker. But your commitment to yourself, to loving yourself is really being tested on both sides of this, okay? And we have this, it is safe for you to love again. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. That is, you know, the universe is really working on that with both of you guys, right? Because, you you know, this person's really been through it. And I feel like you have um, worked really hard on some things and it's been a while for you too, right? And you are trying really hard to just stand in your power and, you know, stay at a high vibration. It's hard, right? It's hard. And we all have days where we do really well and we all have days where we don't do really well. So it's just, it just nurture yourself. That's what you've got. You've got this nurture. Be kind to yourself, nurture yourself um, and surrender to the divine, right? So let's see what we have between the two of you. Justice balancing, right? I love it. Ooh, four of wands, twin flame, king of wands, <laughs> king of swords, the star could be dealing with an Aquarius, the three of pentacles, and the knight of wands. Okay, so with this justice on the bottom, right, the universe is is really balancing out some things for both of you. You know, this person going through whatever and, and you, you're really going to kind of wrap up some cycles and come into alignment and that energy is going to be very balanced, right? The the, uh, the four of wands is that twin flame card. Um, this is also a card of marriage, but it's happiness, right? It's celebration. So things are going to be very balanced and stable, okay? Fours in tarot are about stability. Um, and with this king of wands and this king of swords, again, it does not have to be two, two kings can be two anything. It doesn't matter. Sex is irre irre irrelevant, gender irrelevant. Um, the, this, I think this, this, um, combination of fire and air for you two. Um, and I feel like this is placements in your chart. Okay. And your energies coming together, um, is going to go very fast, right? You know, you add air to fire. You ever seen that movie Backdraft? Whew, be careful, right? But I think the universe is going to balance that out for you. It's going to help you, okay? Because, you know, this will just blow the shit right up. But I think with this in your mutual, mutual energy, you know, you guys are really both standing in your power. Um... And also with this star, you know, it's very, it's very watery. It's air, it's Aquarius, but the star card talks about healing. It's a very watery energy. It's very um, healing and it's very calming. Okay. So that's what we're going to use to kind of temper this all out. Right. So this is, and this is divine guidance. This is the universe aligning the stars for you two to come together, getting your wish. Okay. Fulfilling your destiny. Three of Pentacles. This is about you and your person and spirit really coming together and working on this connection and um, putting in the effort and really just 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 doing what you need to do. Your commitment to yourselves is being tested. When you work on yourselves, the universe comes in and gives you that same energy in a relationship. All right, to help build it, make it strong. 
And here's that passion. Here's that fiery passion. So you guys are ready. You know, you guys are have gone through a lot in our healing and, and letting go of some things and getting ready to collide. And I feel like you are going to collide. Okay. Isn't there a song? Like from the 90s, you and I collide. You and I. All right, anyway, I can't sing. So let's look at this. We've got this justice on the bottom of the deck, all right, followed by the three of cups. So this is, you know, very um, happy, celebratory energy, right? It's going to balance everything out. You guys are going to be so happy. And here's your soulmates, okay? You guys are soulmates. The universe is bringing you together, quick, fast, in a hurry. When I said you guys are going to collide, I meant it. So this is going to be a wish fulfillment for both of you. You may not see it coming, okay? But you've got this divine, um, you know, this empress energy, this divine, um, beautiful, abundant, um, you know, fertile, nurturing kind of, you know, divine feminine energy. But again, you might not see it coming. It's coming quick, right, guys? Um, but you may very well end up in a very committed relationship, a very solid, committed relationship, possibly married. Look at this. So this is the minor arcana for that justice card that we had first, right? This person, this relationship is going to be very balanced, very equal, very um, reciprocal. Okay. And again, here we go. Divine, divine guidance, soulmate energy. And here's the emperor. Okay. So now we've got the emperor and the empress, right? So you guys, you know, we've got the king and queen of wands here. Um, we've got a pair here. You guys are really um, in alignment with one another. The universe is kind of cultivating all of this energy and bringing it to you. That is, that's beautiful energy. That's gorgeous. Okay, guys, so that's what I have for you. I hope it makes you truly happy, gives you some guidance, gives you something to hang on to. Um, and again, this this is, this is um, you know, you could have already dealt with this. You could be dealing with it now or in the future. Take it as it resonates, guys, okay? Um, and that's what I have for you. Please remember to like um, my videos and subscribe. Um, also, if you want to join my Facebook family, the link is in the description box below. I do free card polls over there. Um, I'm ultimately hoping to do them from the YouTube platform, but you know, I'd love everybody to just come hang out, have fun. All right. So that's what I have for you guys. Um, I am sending tons of love and light. Um, have a great weekend.